Hi friends, I am Rijo. Today we are planning to discuss the topic Azure Virtual Mission Availability Zone. It's a part of AZ104 section High Availability Virtual Mission High Availability. Okay? So I just cover my previous section Azure Availability Set. So I explain in the availability in the redundancy, redundancy, infrastructure redundancy availability. There are three redundancy availability available in the Azure portal. First one, uh, Ava Azure Availability Set. Second one, Azure Scale Set. Third one, Azure Availability Soon. So now we will discuss for the Azure Virtual Machine Availability Soon. So what is the learning objective today? What is Availability Soon? And how Availability Soon provide the high availability and key benefit of the availability zone and create a availability zone in the Azure portal. So this is how we are planning to discuss in today. Okay. So first we will go for what is availability zone. So what is the availability zone? Availability zone are physically separate the data center with the Azure region. So we will go for this diagram. Okay. Here you can see Azure region. Okay. Here Azure region, they are physically separate the three zones, zone 1, zone 1, zone 2 and zone 3, okay. It's one zone for one data center, another zone, another data, one more, another data center, another data center. So physically separate the data center with the Azure region. So availability zone protect your application and the data from the data center failure. If any data center will be failure, what happened? You have already available for the zone 2 and zone 3. So you don't face any single point of the failure because your application is available. So example, we go for one example. See, once you place VM in the availability zone, your VM are distributed across the multiple centers. I will show you that. So first I will host one virtual machine. So this virtual machine will be See, you can see here, this virtual machine will be distributed across the zone. You can see, once you place your VM availability zone, your VM is distributed across the multiple data center. So, now the VM will be across the multiple data center, different, different zone. Okay. So, this provide high availability by isolating your VM from the data center failure. Example, we will go for the one demo. If one data center goes to down, VM in the other availability zone will be remaining online. If any data center will be, see here, if compared to this data center will be failure, you can see the remaining zone will be available. So here you can see, if example, this data center will be failed, the remaining zone will be available. So you can not face a single point of failure. So always your application will be available. So this is the availability zone and each availability zone have the update and quality domain already i described update and quality domain update domain is software isolation and quality domain is the hardware as you can visit my previous video i will put in the description okay so now you can understand the, what is the availability zone availability zone and how the availability zone will be provide the redundancy okay so next we will go for the key benefit of the availability zone. Protect from your data center failure VM distribute across the zone today. So data center fail data center failure will be VM will be protected because how to because your VM will be distributed to the different zones. Low level latency replication data across because you will put the same region so you will the user can easily access the low level latency. Okay. An option 99.99 availability service level agreement obtained with zone runcy configuration 99.9 point obtained because you are, your application will not 0.1 percentage failing chance okay because you cannot access so remaining 99.9 service level agreement will provide from the Microsoft side okay so no more extra cost you only pay for the number of VMs okay so now you understand Azure, Azure availability so okay so now I will go for the Azure portal and I will show you the example okay demo now we will reach our Azure portal we will just click virtual machine just click create the virtual machine
so we will uh, select our uh, resource group okay so here you can see the availability option so what's availability option is available available set already i described the previous so we will go for the availability zone so here you can see the availability zone zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 so where you need to deploy your virtual machine if example we will put the zone 1 remaining zone 2 zone 3 the same vm will be distributed so after that you will be create and your virtual machine so now you understand how to we can give the availability zone how to you can select the availability zone now i will wind up this topic okay so i think you are understand what is the availability zone thank you so much